Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to curve text in Design Space. You may have seen that t-shirt that I made on my blog this week, and today I'm going to show you how I curved the text for that project. First, you're going to start with a blank canvas. If you're on the home page, you're going to click New, and then we're going to insert our text. My text said, Life is one big photo shoot. So, photo shoot needs to be on a second line, so I'm going to go ahead and move that. Now, you can see right here that my curve option is not available. The reason for this is that my text is currently one image. I cannot curve two lines of text, so I will need to go to advanced and I'll need to ungroup to lines so that each of my lines is a separate image. All right, so we're gonna start with the life is one big. At this point, you can edit your font. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on my fonts. I'm gonna choose a really cute font that I want to use. I can also change my style. I can change my font size. I can choose my letter space and I can change my alignment. I can make a few changes here before I curve. The only thing I cannot do is weld or attach. So if I weld, I no longer have any of my text edit bar options available. You can see they've disappeared. If I attach, those options have also disappeared. So I cannot curve once I have welded or attached the image. Now I can choose to curve by clicking this and you're gonna see there's a ra little radio button. As I go to the right, it curves down and you'll see right here, I have a positive number for my diameter. And as I go to the left, You'll see it curves up, and I have a negative number for my diameter. So I can sit and I can go ahead and I can curve this how I want it. I can make it bigger as needed. I can change the font again. So if I decide that I want a different font, I can go ahead and do that. Okay. Now, let's say that I want to match the curve with my second line of text. All I have to do is look at this number, and I'm actually just going to go ahead and copy it. Then I'm going to go down to my second line of text, select Curve again, paste the number in there. But since I'm wanting it to curve the opposite direction, I'm going to put a negative in a little dash, and you can see that it matches my curve exactly. Now once again, like I said, you can still change the font, change the spacing, you can rotate, you can play with this after it's curved. Now in mobile apps, curving is not an option. You're not going to see this. In the Apple device, if you weld or if you attach, you can see down here, and then you save your project, you will be able to open up the project again. And now, unfortunately, in Android devices, whether you weld, attach, however you set it up, if it has anything curved in your project, your project will not open back up in an Android device. So Curve is only available on your desktops through Windows or through Mac. Now, you saw how I used this feature to create an iron-on vinyl project. But some of you out there are like me, are paper crafters. So let me show you one project that I'm working on where you can use this feature in your paper crafting. Let me replace. This is a title that I've created with the little sunshine. This is going to go on a smaller scrapbook page, not a full 12 by 12. My plan is to cut this out and create a stencil effect. And I'll put the blue paper behind it, and then my sun will go underneath. 
So I've created this cute little curved title. Now, say you don't want to use a stencil effect, you just want a nice curved title. When I go to make it, you'll be able to see that it still cuts out in this curve shape, so I can actually use this entire piece of paper after it's cut for my template so that I can get the perfect curve on my title. I want to thank you all for joining me today. I hope that this has helped you learn another feature in Design Space and have you dust off that Cricut and give it a try. Um, I hope you have a great week and I can't wait to see what you create.